Welcome aboard the Island Gypsy 40. Today I'm going to give you a walkthrough and, and show you all the benefits of our beautiful boat. I'm standing on the swim platform, which you'll notice we've got all the safety bars, barbecue rails, swim ladder, and a 1.2 metre uh, swim platform. We've got a hot and cold shower down here. And from the swim platform, we walk, walk into the um, cockpit. We've designed this cockpit in a way that's um, user friendly. We've got a, a, a transom door here, which closes. Um, we have an infill that, that drops into here, so we have a full seat all the way around these tables. We've designed these tables to actually open up like this and you can seat at least seven people throughout the whole boat and have a nice big seafood nosh up or whatever you like. Okay, from the cockpit, we, we, we come through our hopper windows, which, which opens up to our, our, our fresco area from the galley and, and the saloon. Um, we've got our dining table here, which also doubles as a um, single bed, drops down, there's a cushion to go on top of that. The galley has been designed by my wife. We have induction cooking, a three-way combination microwave, air fryer and convection oven. We have our TV here which unclips and can swivel out to be watched out in the cockpit as well. We have beautiful Corian bench tops which are just, just sensational, plenty of storage. We've got all the LED lighting, uh, fully air conditioned up here, a reverse cycle which does cooling, heating and dehumidifying. We have um, dual refrigeration, 140 litre Waco fridges which um, are very versatile and have freezer inside both of them. Plenty of storage, as I said, and entrance into the, the engine room here. Also in the ceiling here, we have our ocean air hatches, which we have a block out screen and a fly screen. Also, this will come apart so we can open up our hatch and get fresh air in. Our helm station is our dual helm seats which fold down like this and up. This folds up, that folds up and that folds up. And we have our beautifully designed helm station. Everything's fingertip control. Uh, we have our autopilot, bow and stern thrusters, Cummins control. We have backup uh, gauges, our Cummins electronic engine display and we back it up with gauges as well. We ha have our Ray Marine 16 inch screen uh, with our, our platinum card in it, which um, is just a, a fantastic bit of gear. Very happy to have Ray Marine on board. We're, we're supplying um, Navionics for, for our boats. We also use Fusion, which uh, uh, is a Bluetooth stereo system. Uh, Ray Marine VHF, we use Quick, uh, um, anchor winches and chain counters, um, electronic controls, just a, it's just a beautiful easy, easy to work layout and it's just, I love it, absolutely love it. Moving forward we have our uh, DC panel and generator control system, um, everything is on DC fuses. Um, we have our battery monitoring system, uh, our generator, our own and seven kilowatt generator, um, and as I said, every everything is on. Every circuit is is here that runs through the whole boat. You'll see our um, our wiring, which uh, if you can get in there, Paul. Every wire is numbered and you can follow it all the way through the boat. It's just, just a, a, a beautiful system that we've designed and it's um, super efficient. As we move forward, we come down four stairs into our, into our cabin area and our bathroom area. 
Um, we have a beautifully laid out bathroom, huge shower, great sized toilet area, storage, Jabsco uh, toilet systems, and it's just a pleasure to be in this one. To starboard, we have our second cabin, which uh, is a double. We have storage in here. The bed actually lifts up on gas struts and it's all full storage underneath. We've got big drawer here. We've got 240 volt power and we've got a 12 volt power for, for charging. Also, we, we can put, an, instead of having this storage up here, we can put an optional bunk. So you get another bunk bed above this, above the double. Moving into our Ford cabin, we have a queen size bed which, with storage all underneath, again on gas struts, air conditioned in both these cabins. Uh, we have the ocean air hatches, again, which will block it off. Also in here, in the, we have port and starboard cupboards. We, we, we chose to have shelving in this one can be hanging space, one can be shelving or whatever you like, but they're all seed aligned um, to stop any bugs and silverfish or whatever, whatever happens when you close the boat up for a long while. Our lighting at the front um, is all just finger touch and also has USB ports as well for charging, charging your phone. We have air conditioning in, the, in this, this um, bedroom which doubles and goes into the to the starboard side cabin as well as 240 volt power. Another benefit that we put in, in into our uh, Island Gypsies is our two side doors. We, um, two side access doors, which open up directly onto the wharf. It's just one step and you're on the wharf tie, tying the boat up. It's just, just fantastic. It's been a real, real, real winner for us. Okay, we, all, we also boast full walk around decks, which are just a, a sensational safety issue. And it's just so practical. Women, kids, safe, safe for everybody. Follow me, follow me through to the bow. We have our side, side helm door at the helm station. So if you're, if you're, if you're berthing and you need to get out, you, you've got one step and you're out and, and tying your boat up. We had a, have our mid safety rail. Our, our, our rails are 750 high, which are very safe for whale watching, fishing, or just playing. Looking back, we have a roof ladder, goes onto the roof to our mast, which holds our radar, nav lights, GPS aerials and VHF aerials. Very safe. Here is our, our anchor gear. And we carry uh, 60 metres of 8 mil short link chain. We have saltwater deck wash, fresh, freshwater deck wash. Also here, we have this at the helm station as well, at the anchor counter. You can release your anchor or bring it up here as well. Let me welcome you, welcome you to the best room in the house. It's our engine room, powered by a Cummins 355 horsepower engine. Electronic controlled, it is just a magnificent, beautiful engine. We have, um, in this engine room, we have all our pumps and hot water services all on all, all together. We have our Victron battery chargers, circuit breakers for the engine room, and spare um, control systems down here on on, on the uh, port wall for for the engine. So if you're down here and you and you're mucking around doing some servicing, you can actually see what the engine is doing. You can stop it and start it and do everything from here. We've got our, we also uh, put in four um, air intakes, two for blowing air in, two for sucking air out. 
uh, we, we have our engine batteries, generator batteries here. I've put in a couple of spare boxes here just to keep my spares for traveling. We've got our Raycorth uh, fuel filters here for uh, the main engine and the generator. Um, this is a waterlock muffler for, for the generator, which is an Onan 7 kilowatt. Um, our exhaust system is underwater exhaust system. Um, we also have uh, 800 amp hours of, of house battery. While we're out here in the cockpit, we, we, we put in full, full covers that enclose the whole, whole cockpit. Um, they all roll down, all roll up as you can see here now. Um, if it's raining or blowing a gale, you can have all these down and use this as another room. With the air conditioning running, if it's freezing cold, we have, we have a boat going down to Tasmania, it's, and if it's freezing cold, we can have, have the air conditioning on heating and it will warm this whole area. So you're not only getting the room of a 40-footer when this is enclosed and, and it's another, another, becomes another room, it's, it's the equivalent of like a 45, 50-footer. Fantastic. Love it.